Hi, Endurance Sweat here with my comprehensive guide to Swift's action bars. We'll be going over the purpose and giving a demonstration of each icon. There's a lot to cover, so let's get right to it. On the companion app, the action bar is located at the bottom of the screen in both the map and dashboard views. On the in-game screen, you can bring up the action bar on a keyboard by hitting the up arrow. You can also bring up the action bar by clicking with your mouse or tapping on a touch screen near the bottom of the screen. Either will bring up the action bar. There are a few differences between the action bars. For example, on the companion app, there's an icon to stop the game. And on the in game action bar, there are additional icons to send messages to the group and to ring a bell. You'll also notice that the order of all the icons is not exactly the same. And some of the icons for the same action are a bit different. Shown above me is the companion app action bar. You can see me scrolling back and forth on it. To stop your ride, tap and hold on the orange icon. It brings up the option to save and exit or discard your ride. If you want to continue, just tap on the back button on your smartphone. And you can keep riding. When riding, you can make a U-turn by tapping and holding on the U-turn icon. You can also make a U-turn by tapping on the down arrow on a keyboard. In real life, if you were riding at the head of a pace line and you wanted the rider behind to take the lead, you'd flick your elbow. You can do the same in Swift. Tap on the elbow icon. Here, we'll do it again. To greet new riders, you can tap on the wave icon. Let's have a look at that from a different view. If you want to give riders encouragement, tap on the thumbs up or ride on icon. Right on! Or if you're in a group ride and you've all stopped for a bit and you want to get going again, tap. Right on! A particular note about the ride on icon. When you tap, right on. you are not giving a ride on to a particular rider. You're just sounding the Right on. Note of encouragement. The graph icon will bring up a graph of your heart rate and power output at the bottom of the screen. Tap on the graph icon. And you can see when I'm riding harder, the graph will go up, and then as you ease off, it will come back down. There's a lot of confusion about this graph. Some people have misinterpreted it as a graph of the route profile. That's not the case. It's your heart rate and power output. You can also toggle this graph off and on by hitting the G key on a keyboard. Perhaps in a group ride or race, you're coming to the last two kilometers, and it's time to pick up the pace. You might say it's hammer time. Click on the hammer icon. 
if you've just finished a really hard part of the course or gotten to the top of a long climb and you have no energy left, then you might say, toast. click on the toast icon. Toast. Time to slow down and recoup your energy. Let's say one of your riding companions has just done a long pull or completed a hard sprint. You might want to acknowledge their effort by tapping on the smiley icon to say, That was a good ride. You can change the camera view by tapping on the eyeball on the companion app action bar. There are several views. I have another video on Swift camera views. I'll post the link in the video description. To take a photo of the in-game screen, tap on the camera icon. You'll see a flash and a click. At the end of the game, you'll have the option to post those photos to your activity file. When you're riding and the option comes up to make a turn, turn arrows will show up in the action bar. Here's a turn coming up. Let's watch the action bar. You can see arrows have turned up in the action bar. Tap on your choice. And we'll go left. If you want to get other riders' attention or just liven up the game, bring up the in game action bar and click on the bell. The bell is not available on the companion app action bar. If you want to send a message to other riders on the keyboard, bring up the action bar and then click on the message icon, three dots in a square. Then you can type your message and send it by pressing the enter key. The message icon is not available on the companion app action bar. When you get a power up in game, an icon will show up in the top left hand corner of the companion app, and you can invoke the icon by tapping on that icon. Of special interest to us, an additional icon will appear in the action bar at the bottom of the screen. If you tap on that icon, you can send the power up to garbage or delete it. The question is, why would you want to delete the power up instead of just using it? Well, you might want to do so if you're approaching a banner and you don't have time to use the power up, yet you'd like to have the opportunity to get an alternate power up. If you are in workout mode, there are four additional icons that will show up on the companion app action bar. An icon to pause the workout, an icon to step forward to the next interval, an up arrow to increase the intensity of the workout, and a down arrow to decrease the intensity of the workout. Zwift has a couple of pages on the web to describe the action bar icons. I'll include those links in the video description. If this has helped you to understand the action bar icons and how they are used, please give the video a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to my channel, Endurance Sweat. Until next time, this is Endurance Sweat. Train hard, 
and have fun.